Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 12 of the Adobe InDesign tutorial series and today we're going to see how to change the individual page size inside of InDesign. So uh, the regular way to change the page size uh, is to uh, change all of the page size, sizes and for that you need to go to file and then go to document setup right here and once you go to document setup you can choose A5 let me preview this and you can see that it affects all of my pages in the document but sometimes what you want is maybe you're designing a creative brochure or something like that what you want to do is you want to change individual page sizes only so for that what you need to do is you need to go to the page tool right here so it might not be very obvious on how to use this page tool but let's say you just need to select the page that you want to resize for example i want to resize the page at the right over here so i'm just going to select this so uh, the page is uh, empty on the right side and is aligned well to the left side so you see over here that there's something called the reference point so if it is um, attached to the right side you just uh, put this and in our case it is attached to the left side so i'm gonna choose left um, uh, reference point well right here so over here you can see you can change the width height and uh, size of no, width height of the uh, entire page so if i were to decrease the width you can see that only the page width actually changes just like that so you can also like let's say just type 30 and you can see that this page size actually changes it just like that and you can also do this let's say for example you want to do a, do a bit of mathematics just say 30 plus uh, 10 and it adds 40 pikers just like that so you can uh, input math uh, commands right there and it'll do the calculation for you you can also change the height if you want so you can see that the reference point actually matters if you had to put this on the top uh, the uh, height actually changes accordingly now so only the bottom part changes as you can see that is according to the reference point and if i were to put it over here you can see that it aligns from both sides so that is what reference point is are uh, used for so that is how you can change the page size and you can go back and you can see that two of the pages actually are uh, attached well together with each other and they are of different sizes and this is pretty uh, a good option if you want to design brushes and things like that. So this is how you can change page size individually inside of Adobe InDesign. Hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.